Diane Sawyer that for all intents and purposes, he's a woman. The Olympic gold medalist immediately became the most high profile member of the transgender community. But his interview also highlighted how much is still misunderstood about that community and how at risk its members are for a lot of things like violence, discrimination, even suicide. Joining me this morning to talk about the impact of Bruce Jenner's interview are Equality Michigan's Director of Victim Services, Yvonne Seifert, and also the President of Equality Michigan's PACT and a transgender leader in the community, Amy Hunter. Thank you both so much for being with us today. We really appreciate it. First of all, Amy, I'm gonna start with you. What was your reaction when watching the interview on Friday night when he, and he's still referring to himself as he, or at least at the mm -hmm. time of this interview, when Bruce said, I am a woman. It, it, it was an amazing cultural moment, I think, to see uh, someone, let's face it, who, you know, an athletic, uh, a sports icon. Right. Identify as their authentic self. Uh, I think that it, it probably was a really big educational moment. Uh, for millions of people, it was something like 17 million people yeah. watched that interview. Mm -hmm. So it was pretty amazing. So firsthand, people who at least felt a sense of knowing somebody right. because of generous history um, got to got to understand a little bit about what it means to be a transgender person. And Yvonne, I know um, working with Equality Michigan, when you heard Bruce talk about his struggle with his transformation, his whole gender identity period, what came to your mind? I think the first thing that came to my mind was how revolutionary this act mm -hmm. um, is um, for the trans community, for our society in general. Um, I also thought about the fact that Jenner really seemed very honest mm -hmm. with emotion, but also somehow lighter after yes. having made weight the, lifted. Yeah, absolutely. And one of the things that I think I really appreciated the most about Jenner's coming out was um, Jenner noted himself that my experience does not reflect that of every trans person. Right. Um, I, I have a lot of privilege here that that most people don't have and a lot of support around me that a lot of people don't have. So while I think it was remarkable, extraordinary and and earth moving for right. so many people, there's still a lot of work to be done Absolutely. for trans people in this country. And Amy, obviously this is you know very personal for you as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it is very personal, and I what Yvonne said uh, struck home mm -hmm. for me too. That, uh, and I've seen a lot of commentary mm -hmm. online and in some other uh, media pieces about how Jenner uh, seemed to be so much, um, so much more comfortable mm -hmm. with who they are. Right. And that was my experience too. When I made the decision some ten years ago to transition, the thing that I felt was really, I think, peace of mind for the very first time that I was willing to face the prospect of losing friends and family and, and facing uh, what is, what can be very dangerous for transgender people. Uh, but becoming who you are mm -hmm. allows us to participate fully in society in an undistorted way. And I think Jenner was talking about that, having honest and open relationships with his, his right. family. Because he felt like he had been living a lie his whole life. Yeah, and that's, that's sort, of, sort of, I guess, the cliche is that, you know, we've been living a lie. And, and, and we were talking in the green room before this that it's really not so much that we're lying, it's that we come to a point where we are finally able to face that, that we want to live fully yes. and we want to live authentically and we want others to know us authentically also. And I think you know this is certainly starting a conversation that had already been going on right. in our country, but definitely kind of pushing it forward. And are you already seeing that, Elon? Absolutely, absolutely. I mean, people who I think never even considered transgender as something that actually exists mm -hmm. are maybe buying into a little bit more or having a little bit more understanding mm -hmm about what transgender means. I mean, as Amy said, it really is. It's, it's not just a coming out to being one's authentic self. It is making sure that 
you are able to give your authentic self fully to everybody that you're around. We're going to keep you around for just a little bit longer because we want to continue this interview after a short break. We'll be right back.